What's up guys, Dio Frodo here, and we are back again watching another episode of Camp Camp. Last episode was a uh, quite disturbing episode. Well, um, I say disturbing, it was just, it was so many jokes, so many, so many Hitler jokes. It was, it was, it was something. Let's get started, see what we've got going on in this episode, because it can only get better from there. I do like, though, the fact that, like, as soon as I get back into Camp Camp, I start with a okay, Nazi-themed episode. Quiet down, everyone, please. Yeah. yeah. Please, the theater demands your utmost respect and... Shut your yaps! It's time for the play! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gwen. Don't mention it! <laughs> Tonight's presentation is brought to you by Theater Camp's very own Preston Good Play! Who? Thank you, thank you. It is with great pleasure that I welcome you to tonight's production. Okay. Written and directed, of course, by me. It is a classic tale of forbidden love, betrayal, and friendship. So without further ado, <coughs> I present to you, Romeo and Juliet 2, Love Resurrected. Okay. <laughs> That's going to be something. I don't know where my camp camp uh, neckerchief went. I, I got one at RTX. It came with my little RTX bag. And, uh, yeah. I don't know what happened to it. I should find it and wear it for the next episode. I just... <sighs> This this show for me, like, I don't know what caused me to drop it beforehand, but it's just one of those, like, it seems like the jokes they tell, like, the jokes based around the... Good God, okay. <laughs> the jokes they tell are very, very up my alley, which is dark. Humiliating. What a waste of time. They could be working on that flamethrower right now. I hate being Juliet. I want to be someone cool, like Xena or Brambo. You nervous about your big kiss scene? Don't remind me. I'm already freaking out. You know, Juliet should have done karate instead of kissing boys. <laughs> yeah, maybe she wouldn't have died then. Has anyone seen my phone? I must have dropped it while doing my smile exercises. Don't admit to that. <laughs> Is that David's phone? Pipe down. I'm checking his... Oh my god, he has a Tinder account. Oh Tinder? no. What's that? Oh, it's that dating app for losers who can't meet people in real life. Oh yeah, my dad used that when my mom left him. Again. Guys, that's dark. You're just adding to my anxiety. If you don't return the phone, I'm gonna have a panic attack, and that's on you. Oh man, he's mm. got like seven pictures on his profile. <laughs> Can you say desperate? Wizard, <laughs> you're about to get your cue. I will not have you ruffians ruin my big debut. Now get. I'm afraid we have no other choice. We must turn to pause. Black magic. Yo, did someone say black magic? Uh, Amateurs. Ah, oh, mighty wizard. Please revive our daughter who died so foolishly. What's in it for me? Oh, uh, that's not your line. Yeah, I'm just messing. Okay, one revived daughter. Coming right up. Latinus speakatus. Revived dead Julietus. Man, who wrote this? I'm back! <laughs> I'm back! That's the end of Act 1. Intermission time. Go get some snacks! Okay. Well, that's it for me. Go get Thank some snacks! An inanimate object stuffed with hay could have acted better. Platypus, you're doing great. Stole the scene. Keep it up. Whack, whack. All right, people. Get your shit together. You're up next. Break a leg, buddy. You're right. If I'm injured, I can't perform. Hit me. Hit me hard. It's got to look convincing. Uh. What are you doing? Changing David's Tinder profile, of course. Um, How do you spell conquistador? Oh no. There he is. Look how nervous he is. God, he's so hot. He's obviously a loser, Tabby. Oh, look how the sweat on his upper lip glistens in the moonlight. <laughs> Jesus. I believe we came all the way to this hella gross camp to see him. There's like dirt everywhere. Mm. I love it's forbidden, just like Romeo and Juliet's. But we will be together, even if it costs us our lives. Ugh! It's so romantic! I want to die! He called us cunts last time he saw us. Whatever. I know he wants my bod. I'm gonna make that kissing scene so hot, it'll be rated TVY7. He will be mine. Back from the snack bar. Ew. Did you get my pumpkin spice? Totes. 
Oh my god. <laughs> At long last, my creation is complete. Yes, thank you, Be Dolph. Reborn! System startup. Installing Windows update. Yes! Rise! Rise and be reborn! Robo Romeo! The breath of life has returned to me. Pray tell, Friar Lawrence, where is my Juliet? It appears, my son. In her sorrow, she killed herself. Darth Vader. No! Ugh. Why is he so sweaty? Robots can't sweat! This isn't canon! You're doing great, Nerf. Ugh. Yeah, what smells like daisies? Wow, Nikki, you're like such a good actor. Oh, thank you, ominous off-screen voice. Wait a minute. Ah! Somebody help me! Oh, hello, Bonquisha. Yes, I will swipe right. I oh, am now machine, no. but my heart still makes me human. And my sweet Juliet is no more. Why should I be brought back to such miserable conditions? Fret not, Robo Romeo. A uh, tabby with two eyes? No, Yan Fool. I am Juliet, your one true love. Don't you not remember? I am no specter. I have been revived. I don't know who this bitch is. <laughs> oh, Robo Romeo. <laughs> Empire will be upon us, and you will have to fight to save the galaxy. She's like, us kiss, they're us like the Canker Sisters from Ed and Eddie. Shout out in the comments if you guys get that reference. Yes, yes. I don't know who this bitch is, but she's killing him. Is this hope? Wait, who are you? Don't you, who are you, me, David? You call yourself a conquistador? I thought we had meaningful texts. I told you my age, sex, and location. Oh my god. Excuse me? Who's that? Well, David, explain yourself. Oh no. Uh, I'm not David. He's my Romeo. You best step off before I rip that weave off your head. Oh, you want to go, little girl? Oh, oh, this. Oh. Wow. This is awesome. into oh, still go, girl. Oh man, this is going better than I could have oh, hoped. No. You, you did this, you little rat. Of course oh. I did. You play stupid, Preston. Max, what is this? Oh, hey, David. Uh, found your phone. I'm not sure how this could get any worse. <laughs> Nobody move. We've pinpointed some questionable searches from a phone in this area. Such searches include how to blow up a summer camp, super murder plot, and what the boobies look like. Ah, dang it. There he is. Get him! Oh, jeez. The theater, the cruelest mistress of all. My career, like the mistakes of so many teenage girls, has been aborted. You're going away for a long that time, That was buddy. very dark. You can't take me to prison. I've been framed. I'm just like Stephen Avery. Wow, Wait, that's I a reference. Everyone stop. <laughs> Who is this whiz kid? Bonquisha, I'm sorry. You were texting me all along. I took David's phone just to mess with him. I led you on. Oh, nobody plays Bonquisha like that. Kick his ass! Max, shame on you. My apologies, ma'am. What about me? Where's my apology? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm not sure who you are. Well, the kid apologized. I'd say he learned a lesson. Affirmative. I'd say he learned you a lesson. Here? Uh, kinda? Kinda. Hmm. What's the deal here? Why do you got nerd kid in your theater camp? Were you guys running some kind of camp scam? Oh, no, sirs. Nothing morally gray going on here. Fair enough. Since we have you here, have you seen this man? Oh, uh, I've been told to tell you no. Yeah, I can't argue with that. Let's get out of here. <sighs> I've been told to tell you no. Oh, Robo, Romeo, alas by the tricks of this wizard and life without my sweet Romeo is a life not worth living. Oh, happy dagger, blah, 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 kill me. What? Damn right. Damn right. Attention, fellow Well then, bon I would just like to apologize <laughs> for the sheer <laughs> absurdness that you've witnessed. Please, be kind as you judge this play and if you happen to be from Rotten Tomatoes, please write fresh. Thank you. 
No, mm. wait. I was setting up a trilogy. Keep off your tree. Well, that all worked out. You have got some serious <sighs> explaining to do. I stole your phone and identity and played with women's hearts. What do you need to explain? <laughs> Excuse me, sugar. You owe Bonquisha a date. I, uh, but that wasn't. No, uh somebody's going out with Bonquisha one way or another. <laughs> oh, wait, can't we just be friends? Mm. Sorry about our friend. Yeah, she's the dumb one. <laughs> they are. They're like the canker uh, sisters. Why are so sweaty. What did I miss? An Oscar-worthy performance by yours truly. They don't give Oscars for stage performances. That's how good it was. <laughs> Even Nikki would have been impressed. Huh? Where is Nikki? Guys, anyone? <laughs> The blood is rushing to my head! <laughs> well, guess it's time to drink my own pee! Bring it back for another time, another lot of solid rods, solidifying, petrifying, you fuckers committing Oh my lord. I do love how all three of those campers are played by the same or the same voice actress. She's actually the same voice actress who voices um uh Nora, Sam Ireland. So I, I believe that's her name? Yeah. But anyway, oh man. <sighs> well, thank you guys very much for watching. You can definitely check out these uh, videos over on roosterteeth.com or on Rooster Teeth's YouTube channel. Uh, I'm only doing the ones that are out on YouTube right now, so I'm not doing any first exclusive content or anything like that, just stuff that's already on YouTube. Um, but yeah, definitely check their stuff out. Go see the original uh, content from the original creators. Check out the links down below. Follow me on Twitter, The Whole Nine Yards. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Make sure to be there and have a good one.